on guys? We are in beautiful Grand Teton National Park. We originally got here this afternoon. I wasn't gonna film today. We were just kind of driving around being tourists and scouting. We already ran into the famous grizzly bear 399. Uh, she's the oldest bear in the park I believe. Uh, she's got a couple of cubs with her. Chris was able to get her pretty far away. They're not good photos and I got one of the cubs actually running on the road. We experienced our very first bear jam which was uh, exciting and a little frustrating with people not really listening to the park rangers too much but Anyway, I'm just so excited to be here and, you know, we're leaving triple digit weather in Arizona to be up here met, meeting our friends Darren and Sheena. And I want to take a second here to give a massive shout out to LensRentals.com. They sent Chris and I out a couple of wildlife lenses to try out. I got the Nikon uh, Nikkor 200-400 f4. Chris got the 200-400 Canon f4 with the 1.4 teleconverter built in. Beautiful lenses, so a huge thank you to them. And if you guys want to rent any kind of lens or camera body to try out, if you're doing you know wildlife or something like that, or you're interested in a new camera or lens, then I highly recommend renting one. If you guys click in the link in the description, Lens Rentals has been so kind enough to give you guys a 15% discount if you use that link and use the discount code Perea15. This place here, what we're doing here is shooting sunset. Now, sunset here is kind of tough because you're shooting towards the mountains, directly into the sun. Once it goes behind the behind the mountains here, you still have like an hour before actual sunset. We're just kind of messing around. There's no clouds in the sky or anything, so we have a big shoot plan tomorrow morning. This is gonna be a great sunrise location. We're here in the Grand Tetons and in Yellowstone for the next 12 days. So we have a lot of content coming up. So yeah, I'm gonna shoot this panorama here real quick and then uh, yeah probably gonna head back to, back to camp and then we'll see you guys for sunrise Any grizzly bears get you last night? Mm, no, but that was just bear luck. <laughs> bear luck. What's up guys? We are here in the famous Schwabacher Landing, one of the more popular spots for sunrise. Got the Tetons with some pine trees, reflections. There's a bunch of people over here already, which, you know, it's a popular spot. Gonna have that Alpen glow up on the Tetons, so we're waiting for that and uh, maybe some animals. Then we're gonna go for a drive and uh, see if we can find some moose. My first shot of this morning is a 1x3 panorama. I'm still in the panorama mood, so I'm taking a beautiful panorama this morning. Right now, because it is clear skies, uh, there is a hue of pink and purple in the background of the mountains here and this is called the Belt of Venus and it just adds some beautiful color in the sky which makes a perfect little add-on to my photo right here. And now I'm walking along the Snake River I think this is. Uh, so now I'm walking along the Snake River and see if I find another composition, maybe something vertical. I found one other photo that I like and it's just plain reflection and I didn't even include the Tetons so I'm very excited to see how this turned out and I worked on another one which will be a square and it's a very simple shot just square just reflection top and bottom are exactly the same and right now we're packing up uh, we have our bear spray ready just in case <laughs> and we're headed back to camp for second breakfast for second breakfast yes Mike <laughs>
we spent lunchtime in a probably the most epic spot that I ever have had lunch at. And now we are exploring for our sunrise location for tomorrow morning. I've been pouring over Google Maps uh, in the, the weeks coming up to this trip. I found this spot looking over a little pond and I, I couldn't find a name for it. It's not really a spot where people go to. We kind of just parked and started walking, found a little horse trail, come up to this lookout here with this pond kind of in the foreground. Looks like it'll be an epic spot for sunrise. I can't wait to get back over here. So glad we kind of took today to explore, drive around and find this spot. Yeah, I can't wait to shoot this place for sunrise. You got your bear spray? Oh, yeah, you bet I got my bear spray right here. <laughs> well, we just saw some glowing eyes in the distance. I think it was probably a coyote or a fox. So no bear for now and we will survive. Well, we're getting thrown a curveball this morning. Uh, Yellowstone, there's a little fire, I guess, about 45 miles north of here. We're getting the entire Tetons are smoked out. I mean, you can't even see them right now. Uh, we do have a really small mini cloud inversion here, a little fog bank moving in. It's not very big. It doesn't cover the entire uh, valley, but maybe it's something we can work with, but it's definitely going to be a challenge because our main subject, what we drove up here for, we hiked in. Uh, we're at this beautiful ridge that we are officially naming Chirpa Ridge. It doesn't have a name, but uh, coming all the way up here and now getting this, this you know, wildfire blanketing the Tetons is, is a little heartbreaking, but we're gonna try and make something work. Well, the uh, peaks barely showed. There's a little bit of light on the peaks right now. Uh, not working out for us this morning, but we did just hear a wolf howl, which is the first time I've ever heard one actually in real life. In Arizona, we have coyotes everywhere. And I didn't think they came this far south into the Tetons. I thought they were more, you know, up in Yellowstone. That was definitely a wolf howl we just heard, which is pretty cool. That beautiful fog bank came rolling in, which was nice. You know, we didn't get a photo today, I don't think, and that's okay. We're gonna keep going. I will be here for another, I think, eight or nine days now. Thank you so much for watching, and if you guys wanna rent any kind of lens or camera body to try out, make sure you click the link in the description and use that Perea 15 discount code and we get 15% off all of your lens rentals. So, all right guys, thanks, bye.